Good day, mga boss. Today, we're gonna do an Akasha run. So, I'm with my guildmate, ako si Moy. Shout out. Um, once again, this is Brooklyn from the Berlin server. So, here we go. The first stage says, defeat all minions of Akasha. Pero, you don't actually have to do that. You just have to kill the plants na naka-stationary. Yung mga plants na hindi gumagalaw. If ever, try to ignore the plants that are walking or kung kaya someone can lure them, it's probably a tank. And the only thing you have to be careful is when these plants die, they tend to explode. They slow you down and explode. So you have to be careful to dodge those, to dodge those explosions. But aside from that, this stage would, should not lead to any problems. But again, the, the walking plants though, they deal a lot of damage so you have to be careful so make sure that someone is actually luring them. So there, as you can see, we're trying to finish off the plants. So, yun lang, uh, make sure you carry potions as well because this is not an easy stage to do. Um, it might require potion action. Actually, it will. And as you can see, I'm on my defensive role again because I think if I go attack, I can easily die. So there, we're just finishing up. Uh, I think that this should be the last plant, and once it explodes, the stage should end. Okay, there. So moving to the next gate. Okay, for this next stage, it's it's two huge plants or plants. So, but actually, or what they call ancient spirits. So actually, there's two of them, and only one of them is real. So if you can kill the real one, you don't have to fit, you don't have to kill the illusion. But um, it takes a while. These things are actually very tanky. They they have some skills that they tend to throw rocks, so you have to dodge those. And, and they have skills as well that that are very that are AOE. They also summon plants as well. So there, to so this one you have to dodge those. And they have small charging skills as well that, that can tend to one-hit anybody. So there it seems that we're killing, but this is probably just the illusion. So there, uh, we already killed the fake one. It's gonna do a big explosion. So the next one we have to kill is the real one. So it's X6. So there, around X5, it releases another attack careful and also an x4 actually you have to dodge that thing but that, that that's usually a one hit so you have to be careful as you can see one of my teammates or party members fell but after that it should be easy you have to be careful it still throws rocks every now and then there but other than that this should be okay now so after you kill it, you, you have to deal with same as Hagen, there's two forms for Akasha. So the first one would be the simpler form, which is a, like a little girl. Okay, so there, it's a, it's a little bit lagging, sorry. Okay, so there, begin Akasha. For Akasha, it usually has AOE attacks, but the thing is, its attacks are you should dodge inwards, not outwards, because the attacks are starts from in, then out, then mid, then out. See? Again, try to carry potions just so you can, you can sustain, especially if you, if you don't have a healer. The thing with Akasha is if you have someone that can debuff poison, that would be really, really useful. Because especially on its second form, it I think those those are the skills that can really kill you. So it's not damage; it's mostly the poison that like really erases your your HP. Okay, so now we're on its second form, uh, and so basically, dinyan din siya, malaki, parang hagin. So you have to kill it quickly if possible. So, ang mahirap, ang mahirap lang naman dito is when it starts to release its poisons. As those ones will deplete your HP really, really quick. So, here we go. We're just trying to bring it down really quick. 
So I, I have um, my role skills right now are the ones for defense. Uh, one that can give us life steal and my other ones to block to block attacks but it's not really that much useful since it's poison for some reason okay uh, yeah there so there it released its poison you can see my HP really go down real quick I think that's dodgeable because most of my my party mates were able to dodge so you can see my one my one HP so I have to like run around first make sure my HP is regen yeah, sorry for the lag guys for some reason my phone was heating up while recording this okay so there I, I switched to an even stronger potion and I ate a food that's gonna increase my critical but there oh there so I kind of get the dodging that you have to dodge on the last second so you won't be poisoned so, oh man, I gotta get the timing though. Timing is really off. So there, once it says binding zone, get out of those areas. Those can really, really one-shot you. So you have to be careful, especially once you're poisoned, you have one HP. Those will definitely kill you. But you see there, I was able to block a damage with my third skill. Okay, then use my OT. Again, it's now down. It's now down to times three. It's going to prepare large stocks of energy. You have to be careful. So you don't go to the to the puddles of poison. Definitely, that will poison you. Up and kill you. Okay. Trying to finishing it up as quick as we can. So the cache is pretty pretty easy to kill if you know its attack patterns. If you're able to dodge all of it, it should be okay. So I was able to block that one. But the poison I think the poison was blocked too, but I have I have yet to confirm that. So I have to make sure that that was blocked as well. Shout out Kay Aosimoy. That's okay. <laughs> Anyway, uh, yun, so it's, down, it's now down to X2, it's all a matter, it's, it's down to how you dodge its skills. So, yeah, but it, the attack patterns are usually the same, so it just charges, releases poison, releases a laser. There, again, once it, it does that, get out of the poison patterns. And now that I have my, my spirit activated, this should go down quicker and we should be able to kill it right now now I have my OT as well right now, now I can just kill it easy oh One tip is if you see your name that has a target means you're the one being targeted by the, by the monster. So yeah, we're, we're trying to just kill it but it's attacking so much. There we go. I should fall down. Right. Oh. Oh. Okay. It's dead but I died as well but that's fine. I mean you still get the items and you can, you can get Kasha items like accessories and there we go that's how you deal with Akasha if you have any questions please leave a comment guys make sure to like and subscribe as well